the sword winner Vo Nan hid all the weapons he captured in one place. And he used that place as his grave, as well as to hide his martial arts secrets. So people began to search for his tomb or sword type. Myung interrupted with his right hand, that's enough. From this part onwards, everything is so clear. He asked next, is that just a normal legend, a normal story that became true? So, are you planning to excavate that tomb to get the magical weapons and martial arts secrets of Vo Nan swordsman? Chan Huin replied again, yes. He asked suspiciously, is that so? Is that all? He affirmed firmly, yes, it could be said that way. Myung grabbed Chan and gave it to him and said, so that's it. But his hand felt itchy and he nudged him, making Huin Chan suddenly scream, eh, have not stopped. He slapped a few more times, slapping and teaching at the same time. If the lower person does something wrong, the upper person must be beaten, what kind of lesson are you teaching this brat, huh? Chan Huin asked frantically, what are you doing? Hastily justified, I told all the truth. But Myung still grabbed my neck and warned, do you think I'm a fool? He continued, do you still dare to say you're not lying? Although you didn't lie, you didn't tell everything. He looked down at him with half an eye and said one last time, okay, I warn you. And punching him in the face, he continued, I have to beat you to wake up. If you say something wrong, please urge Q, he continued to beat, while beating and cursing, you brat dares to open your mouth to lie to me, let me beat you to wake you up. Chan Huin quickly stopped, if you continue master uncle will really die. He heated his hands and looked at him and asked. Looking at him, he asked, do you think I won't recognize you if you don't say it? If you have come here like this, it means there must be one of you. Holding a treasure trove of ashes in his hand. We just need to take it and decode it ourselves. He held his steaming red hand and continued, and yet you guys dare to make fun of me. Now let's move from being slapped to being punched. Chan Huin gasped in fear, his uncle's face was bruised and deformed, if I get another punch like this, I will definitely say hello. He quickly shouted, Elixir, the power of that punch just now was not small. Chan Huin hastily continued, it's the elixir. In fact, the name of the sword winner is the elixir. Questionly asked him, is the medicinal elixir rumored to have the first ancient method of refining alchemy over 200 years ago? He nodded tremblingly. This elixir only requires one pill to bring the dead back to life. This elixir with extremely high effects is called mixed origin pill. Elixir, he is considered to be the best in the world in the world of alchemy from ancient times to the present, hard to compare with anyone. But there is not much information about his identity, the medicinal pills he refined are very superior. The Hong Yuan Dan that he created in the past was considered to be the best that could surpass Shaolin's Demon Emperor Great Ring Pill. A person who has the mixed origin pill in their hands will have such terrible internal power that they will be considered a martial arts expert. Therefore, its name as Priceless Treasure is no exaggeration at all. One hundred years ago, mixed origin pill began to appear in the rivers and lakes. To get the mixed origin pill, many martial artists did not hesitate to kill each other. You asked again, are you sure? The grave of the sword stealer without silver sword is the grave of the medicinal elixir, right? Quinn's leg still trembled, he calmed his breathing and thought, there's no use keeping this a secret now. Look at his eyes, he won't let me go without explaining everything clearly, Myung's face was clearly interested. He immediately replied that although Medicine Fairy had climbed to the position of the first person in the world, it was still not recognized by the world. It's because his martial arts are of unknown origin. Yet at that time, that martial art defeated all the masters in the world. It's a story that we never thought of. Myung patted his chest and replied, of course it must be like that. I will forgive you. I am a man who knows how to keep his word, hearing that I know I have a point. He held out his hand and said, finally, give me the treasure chest, Chan Huin looked stupid. Shouted loudly, that, wait, I can't hand over the treasure map. Myung nodded and continued, of course I know that, but think about it, if you all have a treasure trove of treasures but still can't find them, it would be difficult for me alone to conquer this land of Indonesia. Found. Do you think what I said is reasonable? So you should at least give me some information about the treasure trove, right? 
finally concluded, so Han Han, bring the treasure map out here, true illusion. Life must have never met anyone. Such an unreasonable question, after all, why do we have to do that? If you follow the religion, then yes. He interrupted him and asked, the religion. Hey, don't you find it funny? The group of Chan Huin brothers turned pale and sat on the ground, raised their heads and looked worriedly towards the forest calling, brother. Back here. Myung warned, quickly choose, give me the treasure and then return to Vo Dang to call for reinforcements. He was trembling with fear, pale and speechless, crying without a sound. Don't you have to give up greed to become a true Taoist? After using violence to strip the treasure map from the Wudang group, Myung quickly returned, running and opening the treasure map to study. He wondered, looking at this map, I have to learn its instructions to find that tomb. Why, does this elixir old man want to make things difficult for others? Open your eyes wide, try to concentrate, lean closer and look closely at the treasure map. Closer and closer. Is he planning on using his eyes as a magnifying glass? He opened his eyes until they were red, pressed them close to his face, and then got angry, throwing it on the ground and scolding, what the hell is this? I've been watching it forever but I don't understand anything. Those ink marks aren't sword tricks or instructions anymore. In general, I'm a genius at hitting people's heads. As for this game, I'm really done with it. Picked up the paper again and said, quickly, you beat Vo Chan, now you have to quickly take this and get out of here, otherwise soon the Vo Dang crowd will arrive in large numbers. He brushed off the treasure tablet and said to himself, even if I claim to be the number one flower mountain like me, fighting in the same group as those Wudang group is not good. Estimated the time that the Wudang group arrived in Nam Duong. Probably about three days. Three days, during these three days, he must quickly find the location of the sword before them. He held his stomach and groaned, I'm tired, let's go eat first, then we'll be able to regain our strength and jump like the return of the flea. Nguan Tong was still standing in the ruined house, standing in front of the door and said, should we sit here and wait for him? Is that okay? He turned back and asked Bok Tien, should we go see if there's anything wrong with him? He's chasing the Vo Dang people, we just need to follow their tracks to find him. Bok Tien bowed his head and replied, but if we get there, the haggard handsome man's face lifts up and continues, can we stop that guy? You wonder, what heinous crime did I commit in my previous life that now I have such a sassy junior brother? Everyone sighed helplessly, Yogan raised his face and continued, I wonder if he will cause another big problem. After hearing this, Nguan Tong and Bok Tien both turned pale and looked at him. He hesitantly continued, that's not what I meant, maybe he was just chasing the Vo Dang group to do something, but not necessarily. Something happened. There's no need to think too much, every time Myung causes trouble, there's a reason for it and he knows how to solve the problem himself. Bok Tien immediately replied. But no matter what we say, everything he does involves us. And then we are dragged into the trouble he has created. All fell into silence. Yogan turned to look at Li Jisu. As soon as he finished speaking, the wall in front of the building collapsed. Everyone concentrates. Nguan brother scolded again, what the hell are you concentrating on? Where have you been? In the ruined house, all the disciples of the Hoa Sun sect sat together. Myung slapped his hand on the paper and said, that's right, we have to solve this treasure map. Bok Tien sweated and said, but wait a minute, before we focus on unpacking the treasure, you can. Looking panicked, he asked, are you telling us where you stole this treasure? He replied with a stupid face, I haven't told you yet. It's from the Tan Lu Sword Martial Arts. After hearing this, the master's color immediately disappeared. Bok Tien tilted his head up to look at the roof and laughed, so just now you ran after Vo Dang's group and stole this treasure. Uncle Bok angrily shouted, this crazy guy, why did you do that? The two brothers on both sides grabbed their hands to stop them but still cursed, do you know what you did? Have you thought about the consequences of this? Those Wudang people will not forgive us, they will will flock to Hoa Sun to demand that argument. Myung looked careless, waved his hand and continued, don't worry about it, I was wearing a mask at that time, my uncle scolded me even more. 
but you had a sword fight with those Wudong group. He collapsed to the ground and lamented, Oh my god, this action is no different than plucking the hair from the nose of a god. Ha! Huh. Why did you suddenly chase after and steal this treasure from the Wudang people? Calling out, Master, you held up the treasure map and said, Master, do you know what this is? Why don't you want it? I'll ask again. If you don't want this treasure map, I will please return it to Vo Dang. He continued, If you don't say anything, I'll return it, but this is the elixir tomb. There is a method to make mixed origin pill. Bok Tien gritted his teeth and thought, it's poisonous, it's definitely poisonous. But he was a little hesitant, he bit his lip and thought, no matter how toxic it is, it's impossible to ignore this mixed origin pill. It's the famous mixed source pill in the world, how can I ignore it, oh my god. He held his hand, determined to encourage, I mean right now we have to take a gamble, don't pay attention to this and that anymore, we will have to do everything we can to do this. The mixed Yuan pill must belong to Hoa. Sun Ta. Bak Tien said, Come on, my child, if you try your best, you might end up empty-handed. The Bao Not Hoa Sun Sect disciple was silent for a few seconds and replied, Well, if that thing is black, it's still possible. Yogan bowed his head to think, then turned to opinion, Uncle this time I also agree with Miyang. He explained, We've done this and can't regret it. Now there's not much time left. The Wudong group will return to the mountain, but they will quickly bring more people and experts back to Nam. This is Duong. How can we fight them then? Nguan Tong stood here in silence for a while, also agreeing, we have to hurry up, uncle. Miyoung turned around and asked in bewilderment, I accept the message, do you also agree with that idea? Thinking in my heart, the determined eyes of these kids. They seem very determined. Having come to this point, how can the leader of a group of kids like you give up? Bok Tien asked if he could only solve this treasure map. He looked down in worry, but could it be that when we solve the mystery of this treasure trove, another problem will arise? Is that so? Bok Tuk frowned and asked again, are you sure you can do it? Then he bowed his head and said, well, at this point I have no other choice, so I can't return Vo Dang. It's already happened. Even if you are punished by the sect master, you will still have to do it. He immediately gave an order, Nguan Tong and Yogan both replied, yes. Turning to Sister Li, he also said with determination, let's work together. Let's solve the mystery of this treasure map, before Vo Dang comes to Nam Duong. We need to enter the sword race and get the method to make the Hun Gwyn pill. The whole group raised their hands and shouted, let's work together for the chaos pill. Mixed origin pill, mixed origin pill. Myung smiled with satisfaction thinking, everyone has grown up. On the other side of the building, a person was peeking over, none other than the puppet's son, who was sighing, thinking that in just one day the wall had been destroyed. I really wanted to forget all that happened. He closed the door and entered the room. He was worried and didn't know what to do, but since they got here, my illness got worse and worse. Suddenly he had an attack and coughed. My whole body cringed and cried out, but I was afraid that someone would hear me so I covered my mouth and told myself, I need to try a little harder. In his heart, Sect Master Wei clearly understood that his own wound could not be cured with medicine, this wound could not be completely cured. Trying to stand up, he thought, now is the time when Hoa'an Mon needs me more than ever, at an important time like this, Hoa'an Mon needs me to be able to restore it to the way it was before. If we do anything, who will take care of the flowers? If so, I won't be able to close my eyes even if I die. Struggling to walk to the bed, he encouraged himself to rest. Okay, a little rest will be better, then he took off his shoes and climbed into bed. Suddenly, Myung didn't need to knock. It was as natural as his own home. He opened the door and walked in. Wei Lap Sun turned to look at him in surprise, he asked, have you gone on vacation? Sect Master Wei was bewildered and asked, what is the matter with the Taoist coming here so late at night? He removed his hand from his chest and asked again, is there something wrong with the Taoist not being able to relax? He squinted at him, closed the door and went in to answer, wrong, the one who is uncomfortable is not me but the sect master. Myung started talking and continued, because it's an urgent matter so we need to deal with it right away. 
Old Master Wei still asked blankly, what did the director say? He didn't care, he passed his strength through his arm and ordered Wei Lap Sun, don't open your mouth to talk. Wei Lap Sun didn't understand what was going on and quickly shouted, wait, wait. Taoist, what are you suddenly doing? Myung replied, internal injuries must be treated. Sect Master Wei asked again, do you mean the young Taoist will treat my internal injuries? He sweated and continued, young leader, this is not as easy as you think. If there is any mistake, not only me but also the young leader will suffer internal injuries. He happily replied, how could that happen? Myung understands in his heart, I know very well what will happen if something goes wrong, and you also know very well how to treat internal injuries. There are two ways to control internal injuries. One is to use one's own internal force to adjust the chaos of blood and energy. But Wei Lishan did not have the capacity to self-treat internal injuries at this level. His vitality is gone. If so, there is only the second way, someone else will inject internal energy to restore that blood. Although it is ten times more difficult than the first method. Myung immediately used his other hand to grasp Sect Master Wei's arm, stretched it out, and sent internal force flowing in. He opened his mouth and cursed, this crazy guy, he immediately locked his mouth. Almost the internal force had entered and exited through the mouth. If internal force suddenly escapes through the mouth like that, he spoke, fortunately he was not completely injured, it seemed to be effective. Sect Master Wei no longer resisted, silently thinking, is it true? The pain I have endured for a long time is gradually disappearing. A source of cool and warm internal energy was flowing throughout his body. He wondered, is this the aura of Taoism? Chu Dao Truong is a disciple of Hoa Sun. Suddenly he realized something, he said. Myung still covered his mouth and told him, please bear with it a little longer, it's almost done. Master Wei thought, as far as I know, while transmitting internal energy while talking, it will be possible to put the martial artist into a state of trance while receiving and transmitting internal energy. Even the elders of a mid-level sect wouldn't dare to do that. How could this person, Mr. Doubt, who exactly is this Taoist? Sect Master Wei slowly sat up, keeping his mouth tightly closed. Thinking in amazement, my body, you put us on your knees, thinking, my body rotates itself into a cross-legged position. Myung requested, please control your internal energy according to my instructions. Old man Wei was worried, thinking, is this really okay? But immediately, he said, I'll start, and cleared Wei's veins so Sun gritted his teeth and endured. On the contrary, Dan Dain is the most ideal place for true energy to spread to the entire body. It's a very sensitive place. If you make even the slightest mistake, it can destroy the entire body. Chu Tian happening so quickly could also pose a risk of conflict to some extent. You have to clear the clogged meridians, remove the things that have accumulated in your body, and wash away the internal injuries. Then the flow of internal energy rotating in the whole body will return to the path it took, and return to Myung's body. That's not Chu Tian, and there's one more thing he didn't tell Sect Master Wei just now. If this process is repeated twelve times, it will complete Tan Twelfth Chu Tian, meaning that Wei Lap Sun must endure twelve internal force rotations. From the Wei Sect Master's building. The bright light erased all the darkness around here. At not Chu Tian's last time, old man Wei's whole body was filled with smoke. Squeeze your shoulders and squeeze your legs. Now he doesn't feel any pain at all. Not only was he on a better level, but his energy was fuller than before. Sect Master Wei asked, Little Dao leader, this matter. Myung replied gone, Hoa Sun will remember, he continued, Hoa Sun has not forgotten your grace, Master please accept the return of the kindness you have given Hoa Sun over the past decades. He patted his chest and said, I hope the Master will also protect the name Hoa Sun like now. If so, in the future, the names Hoa An Mon and Hoa Sun will be famous throughout the world. Sect Master Wei looked bewildered at the person opposite, Miyang, the third generation disciple of the Dai Hoa Mountain sect. The person people call Hoa Sun then long, after a long time of waiting, now I have achieved my wish. Tears of emotion fell, he hugged his face and replied, I will definitely do that, Mr. Hua. Certain. 
Noon the next day, Myung was depressed and said, no, not this, the floor was full of papers and symbols. Bok Tien bit his finger and said, if it wasn't here, would hold my head and whine, where did I go wrong? Yun Yogung scratched his bald head and muttered to himself, a little more to the right. No, to the left. Surprised ask again, can't solve it. Uncle Bok said, even though I am considered by many people to be a genius, this is really too difficult, there is no answer. I am sure in the world, not many people can solve this problem. Where are you three? Myung interrupted, Vo Dang has solved it. Bok Tien sweated, guessing that Vo Dang seemed to have an outstanding genius, right? He immediately questioned, then why can't Uncle Hoa Sun solve what Vo Dang can solve? Bok Tien angrily shouted, who said that? Among the uncles, there will definitely be someone who can solve it. He quickly argued, it's just that we lack the time and manpower to solve it right now. Disciple Tan immediately criticized, that's all. Uncle Bok said again, anyway, our abilities are a bit too much. We need someone who has specialized in French formations or agency maps or something. In a rural place like Indonesia, it's even more difficult. Yun Yogung immediately asked, what do you think, Myung? Think we should quickly find a big city. Afterward, before he could finish speaking, he complained, in just a moment, the Vo Dang people will come here like a pack of hungry dogs. Myung shouted angrily, what? Go to the big city to find someone to solve it. Master, you scolded uncle like your own son. He turned to question, there is no way, making uncle Bok bewildered. Myung continued with a scary face, there is always no way. Bok Tien and Yun Yogum wondered, what's with his expression? In his heart, he had a bad plan, what was he going to do? In Hoa Sun's ruined room? Myung asked, is this true? Yun Yogung handed the treasure map back to him and replied, it seems right, because although it's a bit difficult to understand, everything has rules. If we have more time, we can continue to try. Myung looked at the paper and asked, in short, this is definitely real, right? Thinking in my heart, what should I do? As long as there is a way, it will be okay, right? Yogung brother spoke, Myung, this was impossible from the beginning. Isn't it difficult for us alone to confront Wudong? So let's give up this time. Before he could finish speaking, his younger brother interrupted, Wait a minute, I'm asking, senior brother. What did you just say? Ha! Huh? Yun Yogung said again, giving up. He asked again, no, the previous sentence. Brother Yogung immediately said, only we cannot deal with Wudong. Myung repeated with a stiff face, only with us. Then smiled foolishly and agreed, that's right, just with us, just with us it's impossible. Then conclusion, so it's okay as long as it's not just with us. The group of senior brothers and uncles had stupid faces and didn't understand anything. He excitedly requested, let's bet once. Just like senior brother Yun Yogung just said, we alone cannot deal with Wudong. Then why don't we make a big bet? Myung came up with an idea, we will spread the news throughout the world that somewhere in Indonesia there is a sword race. The first person to blurt out was Bok Tien, are you normal, Uncle Scream? How precious is this information that you intend to spread it around the village up and down the road? Are you really awake, Apple? The senior brother sat down and stacked a pile of bricks and stones, explaining, Senior Took, think about it, if Wu Dang had come here in search of that sword, then the number of people would not be small. The five red bricks are indeed them. Yun Yogung stood up, pushing the small pile of sand around into the spinning stone and pebbles, symbolizing the Wudang people. If you other sects from everywhere gathered here, Yogan continued, it will cause chaos. Yogung's senior brother agreed, that was the thought. Although it is slim, there is still a probability. If Wudang appears alone, it will be difficult for us to interfere, but if many sects cause chaos, we can be able to fight. After listening to Bok Tien, he closed his eyes to think, and his uncle said, it seems like everyone is crazy, but it's not completely unreasonable. Then immediately concluded, okay, since I'm riding on the tiger's back, I have to go with it. Then turned to ask Myung, so how do we spread the news? Do we have to go everywhere and shout that there is a sword in this place? Master Myung sighed and said, 
Who would believe it? The teacher continued to ask, so do you have any interesting ideas? We don't have time. He curled his lips and replied, no matter how loudly we shout, no one will believe it. This news has to come from someone trustworthy. Everyone is suspicious of who it is. Myung crossed his arms and asked again, what, who? It has to be somewhere, right? He smiled happily and continued, I'm going to leave for a while, everyone can rest. At the Wudang sect, the old sect leader asked, are you saying you've lost by going without a town? Seriously injured again? Chan Huin respectfully replied, yes, my lord. He picked up a cup of tea to enjoy, continued, it turns out the rumors about Hoa's son than Long are true, he is the false guide for the head of the Wudang sect. He said with a calm and elegant face, he defeated ten second generation disciples of the male generation in a row, so it was not strange to defeat Vo Chan. That also happened two years ago, right? The sect leader asked, do you know why this happened? True Huin replied, it's because of my stupid disciple, true master denies, no, the reason this happened is due to the martial arts characteristics of Wudang. He asked, do you understand what I said? Chan Huin, he raised his head and thought, what kind of answer does the sect leader expect? If you answer that what you say is correct, it is like insulting the martial arts of Vo Dang, and if you answer that what you say is wrong, it is like spitting on the words of the sect leader. Thinking for a moment, he replied, I don't understand. The sect leader stroked his beard and replied, It's not your fault that I made a wrong judgment. He predicted that Hoa Sun Divine Dragon would personally come, but he did not think that he would be so strong that he could defeat the town, he thought that the size of his second disciple, Tru Huin, would be enough to deal with Myung. Then, he bowed his head again and said, I'm sorry. The sect leader stroked his beard and continued, Okay, what do you think? How does the divine dragon's mountain flower look like in your eyes? Chan Huin Tuong narrated, he said, he is a monster. Although disciples cannot defeat other Hoa Sun disciples, Hoa Sun then Long is at a completely different level. The old sect leader picked up his cup of tea and thought, is it that far? He thought, Chan Huin, this child is a more outstanding talent than any town today. Even this child feels that the divine dragon mountain flower is like a solid wall. It's really a problem that can't just be let go. He asked, can I go on the road again? Chan Huin raised his head and asked, Master Nan asks me, do you have the qualifications to do that? The true man placed the cup of tea and replied, you made a mistake, so I have to give you a chance to save that mistake. The people going to Indonesia this time have almost finished their preparations. Chan Huin thought, Ben's son also acted. But not only that, the Grand Master spoke, this time the elders also went personally. He ordered, after you have finished preparing, go with them to Nam Duong again and excavate the sword seed. The head of the sect speculated, that little Hoa Sun Divine Dragon is probably stomping his feet right now because he can't crack the treasure map. And probably waiting for us to come and choose the right opportunity to bet on the alchemy method. Suddenly he turned around and ordered, it's your mistake. Please correct it yourself. On the side of the road in Lak Duong City, a beggar was begging, please give me a penny. Dear good people of Luoyang, please give this humble person a penny. He held a broken bowl, his dirty hands complaining, you little man has been starving for two days now. Wearing tattered clothes, raising his eyes to beg, let me ask for leftover food, I also ask for your gratitude, dear Dan Lak Duong, please give me a penny. The other guy affirmed, I'm telling the truth. The bowl in the beggar's hand fell to the ground. He quickly ran away, leaving his broken eye rolling on the ground. There's only the sound of stories from last night until now, it's making so much noise. He ran to a remote area with a few simple thatched houses. Hastily lifted the cloth and went into the house, speaking into the ear of the person sitting inside who was struggling with a pile of papers on the table. The tip of the brush was old, the feathers were loose, the handle was rough, the string was loose, but he still kept writing, writing the words he had just heard from that beggar. It's written exactly like what the guys sitting at the bar were talking about earlier. He picked up the knife with the food in it, chewed it greedily and threatened, you guys die with me. Master Fanda held the piece of paper in his hand and crumpled it and cursed, 
beggars hey, you don't confirm any information but just write it down haphazardly and send it to me. Now you guys are looking down on the lack duong too much. He threw the paper straight behind him. A pile of scraps of paper had piled up there, mumbling curses, I've been loosening my grip on the beggars too much lately. I had to call them all together for a beating before they could wake up. He continued to pick up the fruit knife and gnaw on it, saying, there's nothing interesting these days. Suddenly glancing down at the file of papers sent back by the beggars distributed in Nam Duong, the Chu wondered, is this much news sent from Nam Duong? It seems like something has happened in the past few days. It is still the content of the second generation disciples of Hoa Sun and martial arts who have exchanged martial arts for Hoa An Mon and Tong Dao Quan. Hua Shan Wan and Song Dao Quan withdrew from Luoyang. The third sheet, Hoa Sun wins Vo Dang defeats. The fourth newspaper, Hoa Sun Tang, also wrote, even though the number of martial artists is greater, they still cannot take advantage of it and have lost. Reports with similar content are continuously sent. In his mind, if he compiled the information, everyone in Luoyang had seen the Hua Shan disciples defeat the Wudang disciples. There's no way they could all collude together to lie. He immediately concluded, so does that mean all of this is true? The name refers to the nine most famous sects and a clan in martial arts. The nine sect one gang, Hoa Sun has long since withdrawn from the nine sect one gang, and its momentum has also weakened a lot. The leader of the group of beggars, Luo Duong, crossed his arms and thought, if that forgotten sect regains its strength and steps out into the martial arts world, its influence will certainly be enormous, to the point of overturning the crime. Because of the power of martial arts. Not only that, on the notice sent from Indonesia, it was also written, Tan Lu Kim, the first generation disciple of Voda, lost consciousness and was carried back by Vo Dang disciples. Master Fanda stuck the knife into the file and said, anyway, we need to investigate the matter first. Suddenly there was a noise outside. You can't come in, told Master Fanda, then a loud shout, stop, stop. Panda Master sat in the room and asked, what's so noisy? Too much. Suddenly, the rotten wooden door next to him was gently removed. Myung walked in with some beggars trying to stop him. He quickly picked up the sword next to him and stepped forward to answer. That's right. Is something wrong? Myung blatantly walked in, two beggars fell outside the door. He took it out from his chest in front of Master Dao's inquisitive eyes. Having finished speaking, he placed Mong on the chair as naturally as at home, picked up the cup of broken tea and drank it all. Master Fanda looked at that and thought, why are you drinking tea like that? Anyone looking at you would think you were drinking wine, he speculated. But he didn't seem to have a strict personality, a cheap tea was poured into a dirty cup, normally everyone would frown, but he didn't seem to care at all. Fanda Master spoke up and asked, you are Hoa Sun than Long Myung, why are you looking for this to Master? He put down the chipped cup and replied, I want to sell some things. He was confused, selling things in a beggar's den, then looked at the door and continued, after you broke the door open like that? Myung continued, I told them to go see Master Da for a moment, but they didn't listen, so I just took action. Master Fanda held up his teacup and explained, Thu Heap doesn't seem to have much experience in the world, so it's not clear that the place Thu Heap is looking for is the gang's branch. He said, I don't know what Thu Heap thinks about us, but the gang is not a place to buy or sell anything. He is Hong Dai Kuang, the leader of the gang. Hong Dai Kuang criticized, if Thu Heap wants to sell something, go to the black market. Myung listened and asked again, is that so? You got the treasure back. Sigh, then there's no other way, right? Putting the scroll back into his chest, he slowly said aimlessly, because we are both righteous sex, I came here. Before, even Master Tua told me to go to the black market, in my heart I thought, how should I do you know what the old state was like? He wondered aloud again, so what should we do with this? Because it is a rare item, we cannot sell it on the black market. So we have successfully attracted the attention of the Damaster group to the paper. Hong Dai Kuang pondered in his heart, as soon as he was rejected by the gang, did he immediately think of going to Ha Oman? So that means he knows what kind of place this state is, so he came here. He observed, his eyes without any regret. 
That meant that no matter who it was, he could easily sell that item. Then he asked, can I ask Thu Heap what he wants to sell? Myung coldly replied, I don't need to tell people not to buy. Master Fanda smiled wryly and stammered, that's it. So it successfully aroused the beggar boss's curiosity. He ordered, hey, go find some good wine and come back here right away. The beggars guarding the door will quickly run away. As soon as there was good wine on the table, Myung immediately opened the treasure chest. Hong the main light just looked at it and guessed, dark insignia. Seeing him pick it up, he hit his hand and said, hey hey, then continue. But is he this strong? With just one hit, this guy has already deduced a lot of things. But it seemed like the hit was light, so he immediately changed his mind. Now we have to focus on this. The Hong Dai Kuang asked, so what is this? Myung finished drinking the bowl of wine and complimented him, sounds delicious. Wiping his mouth, he replied, ah that? Where should I explain it? Two beggars stood guard outside the door and opened their mouths in surprise. He sat down on the chair and continued, so this decision is not your job, Master Da. He was still dazed after determining the meaning of the paper on the table, and hesitantly replied, that's right. But, leave him alone. He's still surprised. You ask directly, how much will you buy it for? The clan leader listened and asked with a stupid face, how much? Doubt in his heart, how much, Dai Kuang thought, if everything this person said was true, if it was true that he defeated the town and took this thing from him. If true, this is a treasure map leading to the sword race. Looking at the paper that glowed with the smell of money on the table, he wondered, if it's real, how can we determine the price? Price aside for now, but why did he sell this thing? Even though it's at the end of the treasure trove. This is nothing, just discovering one thing will change the fate of the wanderers. Myung picked up the wine bowl again and asked, aren't you going to buy it? Master Fan De quickly denied that it was not so. He looked at him with half an eye, he hesitantly said, well, that's it. While drinking wine, I explained. If I could solve it, I would have solved it. But if you can't solve it, then what's the point of keeping it? It's better to sell and make money. He said that and he was easily seduced. The owner of Fanda thought and agreed, he was right. There are people who hold on to treasures all their lives until they die, not knowing its value, but still have doubts in their hearts, this is the elixir's method of alchemy. If you are a normal person and don't need the alchemy method, this is a smart choice. But he is a Taoist but thinks like a businessman. So, Hong Dai Kuang frowned and thought, according to my experience, if these people had the power, they would turn the whole martial arts world upside down. Myung is still leisurely enjoying the wine, but the master still silently judges, just thinking about it, I see that he is a dangerous person. At the same time, he also played a big role in helping restore Hoa Sun. Seeing that he remained silent, he asked again, what were you thinking just now? Are you not much? Master Fandit judged again that although his mind was agile, he still did not have much experience. He immediately answered, if this treasure map is truly a sword type treasure map, then it can be called priceless. He continued, but I have many things to consider, even though this is a real sword. But if they knew that this was originally a woodine item, the number of buyers would decrease by half. Furthermore, I'm not sure whether I can solve this treasure map or not. In addition, he must keep the story of the state that bought this thing a secret and must secretly find someone to buy it. Hong Dai Kuang began to slyly reason with Myung, most importantly, you have no evidence to prove that this is a real product, so if I buy it, I have to bear all these risks, said with saliva. For a while, he just asked in confusion, so what? Master Fan Dao thought for a while and said the price, hundreds of thousands of tails. He smiled and continued, considering the close relationship between me and Hoa's son then long, I will pay another 20,000 tails, 120,000 tails. But different from his thoughts, Myung put the treasure in his chest and asked, where is the nearest Ha Ob Mon branch of Bao? The price doesn't seem right, so I'll go. Hong Dai Kuang opened his mouth and shouted, what does Thu Heap mean by that? What does the price mean? He sighed and said, 120,000 tails. 
Master Fan Dao smiled and replied, that's right, 150,000 tails. This case is very rare, because the young knight is a Hoa Sun Divine Dragon. He interrupted him, emphasizing each word, 150,000, if you ask me in anger, are you kidding me? Hong Dai Kuang fell to the ground, sweating and looked at the empty space behind him. His face turned pale and he continued to bid, 20,000 tails, I will pay 20,000 tails, Myung looked at him with eyes full of reminders, still not awake, right? He raised three fingers, he stuttered and guessed, 30. 300,000 is enough. He shouted loudly, 300, 300,000, pay it all in one go. Don't even dream of anything less, after Myung offered a price for the treasure that led to the sword. Hong Dai Kuang suddenly shouted, 300, 300,000 tails, young knight. Does Tiu Heap know how much money that is? Now we don't have that much money. Even if I scraped everything, I could only manage 100 million. So what? Thinking for a moment, he said loudly, okay, 200,000 tails, what do you think, Few Heap? 200,000 is a huge amount of money, the number of people holding that much money can probably be counted on the fingers of one hand. I will pay 2000 now I will give 1000 first, I will give the remaining 1000 a month later. Myung still firmly said, 3 million right now, otherwise I won't sell. The old man was mad. Thinking, the devil, I didn't know that he knew the value of the treasure map so he said that. Or maybe he doesn't know anything and is just playing a trick, but we can't deny that possibility. Looking at his leisurely and arrogant expression and posture, if I do not accept this condition, he will immediately run to Ha Oman to trade. Myung immediately interrupted his words and asked, I know, where do beggars get money? But there is a way to make money, Dai Kuang No asked bewilderedly, how to make money? The Silver Continent is in Luo Duong District, right? He asked again, the old man immediately replied, yes, why did you mention the Silver Continent? That's the shortest way to ruin that life, Myung whispered, is there any life worse than the life of a beggar? Dai Kuang heard him say it loudly, I heard it all. The old man raised his hands and said, it's too much, it's too much for us, 200,000 tails, I can't give you any more. Young master, decide, sell it to me for 2,000 tails or work hard. Go find another place to sell. But I can say that it is difficult for Oman to earn even 100,000 tails, let alone that much money. Young master, please remember clearly. Hearing so, he silently thought about something for a while, then stood up, clicked his tongue and said, then there is no other way. The old man thought to himself, cunning guy, this time I won't be fooled. The old man spoke again and suggested, young knight, try going to Ha Oman and ask, they will answer the same as me. If you don't believe me, just try to come and see. Myung calmly replied, I didn't go to Ha Oman. The old man immediately stopped him and said, isn't the young master coming to the camel division first? If so, the camel division will handle this matter. Myung looked puzzled and asked, because Wuhan is further away, I came here first. As you said, Camel doesn't have enough money, right? Why, is there a reason why you don't want to let me go to Wuhan? He replied in his mind, because Wuhan is a place that is managed from behind the scenes. Thinking about something, he trembled and said, I will buy it, three million tails of Camel dung. I will give you all three million tails. He thought about something and asked, who said it was three million? He smiled disgustingly and shouted the price again. 3500 tails. Dai Kuang didn't understand and asked, Hey, did you just say 300? He immediately explained, In times of escalating prices, in just a moment, prices also change. Well the price just increased by another 500,000. Looks like prices are about to go up again. Now it's 380, a little closer to 400. Dai Kuang found himself in a difficult position to answer, so he waited slowly. Myung kept raising the price, he couldn't bear it and shouted, I will buy, I said I will buy, I will buy for 3800 tails. Successful negotiation, Myung clapped his hands together, smiled happily and said, what a wise choice. Dai Kuang then ordered the borrower to prepare fully. 
He put the money on the table and said, the existing 1,000,000 tails, plus 2,800,000 tails borrowed from the mainland estate, the total is 380. As stated said I brought the check. It's really a profitable transaction. But remember one thing, in this world there is no place without the eyes and ears of beggars. If this item is fake or you're doing it, you'll definitely have to pay the price. Myung held the money in his hand and with a happy expression affirmed, this is definitely genuine. Dai Kuang asked, Sure, what reason do you have to be so sure? The boy immediately replied, Of course there is. Hearing that, Master Fanda happily thought, If he is that confident. Okay, if this is real, it will cost double or triple the price of 380,000 tails. Vo Dang has already solved it. He asked in bewilderment, Oh, Vo Dang. Then it must be. Suddenly he understood clearly what he said and asked, What? After putting the money away, Myung walked back and said, You must hurry up. Because by now they've probably already started to excavate, I won't lie. After saying that, he curled his tail and ran away. Only now did he realize the seriousness of the problem. Returning to Hoa Sun Mountain, the other disciples, as always, tried to practice according to Myung's words, the scene was extremely peaceful. Then Huyn Yong ran to complain and said, You guys are heartless, if only they could send the news to us so we could know what's going on. It would be great. Sect leader Nan gently replied, It's not like the kids are going out. They're on a mission. Of course they don't have time to send messages. The Master Quinn asked with a suspicious expression, even though the sect master said so, don't you come here more than a dozen times a day to wait for news from Nam Duong? That's so heartless, how can you say something so freely? Huyn Sang laughed loudly and replied, aren't children different from us? No matter where they are, they won't be easily defeated. So they'll do well. Okay. Huyn Yong also agreed, of course they have to be different, they can't be like us, because they can't live as miserable as us. Hearing those words, Huyn Chong closed his eyes and thought, the things we have had to go through, the pain that we, the prodigal sons, have to bear, is to witness with our own eyes the decline of Hoa Sun, how many times have we seen the people we trusted turn their backs. The monk brothers, no different from family members, turned their backs and left the mountain. In that chaotic situation, we couldn't even learn martial arts thoroughly. Therefore, they must be different from us, who contributed to the decline of Huashan. Huyn Yong continued, those are the words Huyn Yong I want to say, they must be different, they must live well. The sect leader agreed and said, well, those children will become Zhang Hoa Sun Dan, we will support them. Having finished speaking, the three just stood there silently admiring the mountain scenery, when Un Am approached and called out to the chief of staff, um, what's going on? He asked. The disciple took out the piece of paper and reported, the flower branch of the Ha Thuong group sent a message from Indonesia. The sect leader was extremely surprised, he asked the small merchant group leader. And Hoa An Mon, after correcting the chaos, began to accept disciples. After reading, Huyn Chong asked incredulously, is this true? Un Am affirmed, the owner of the small business group has confirmed it several times, so this is definitely the truth. Sect leader Nan was so happy that he cried, the children won the martial arts match with Vo Dang. He asked while thinking, they have grown to this level. If so, then one day, one day Hua Shan will be able to join the nine sects and one clan again. Thinking about it, he immediately asked, did they say they would return? Un Am replied, because I did not receive direct contact from them, I cannot confirm that. But there's nothing else to do in Indonesia so they'll probably return soon. Hearing that, he said again, okay. That's right, it will take about three days for them to return to Hoa Sun, right? The patriarch Tai Quinn had not said a word when Huyn Yong immediately replied, I understand what the sect leader wants to say. You want to prepare to welcome the children who have worked hard to return, right? Please don't worry, I'm well prepared. After saying that, he and Un Am hurriedly returned. Hyun Sang also patted the shoulder and smiled at the sect leader, then slowly walked away. Huyn Chong was still there, he looked up at the sky and thought, you guys have worked hard, kids. After that, he also returned. 
As he walked, he asked, but it's amazing that Myung didn't know what to do, doesn't that kid have a moral temperament? If it's leaky on the inside, it's leaky on the outside too, Hyun Sang happily replied, yes. Returning to the place of Wo Yang's dung, Dai Kuang was madly shouting, Hoa Sun Divine Dragon, my money. He did not respond, but kept saying, Hoa Sun Divine Dragon, he looked down on us and hurt me. I will tell you the state. Ah no, what will happen if you touch this Dai Kuang rose? The old man turned inside, clutching the sword and said, call the map experts to come and redraw the draft of the treasure map. After listening, the beggars asked again, what? Master Fan Dao Luo Duong said, let them understand, spread the news to the sects that can buy this treasure. That I will leave it to them at a cheap price. The other two quickly replied, ah, uh, yes. The beggar asked again, do I need to choose a sect? The old master Dao replied immediately, now is not the time to choose, just spread the news to me from the sects around here to famous people, everyone. After listening, they could only answer, yes. The old man continued, ah, also, find out which direction Hoa Sun Divine Dragon goes, remember. He had given them very careful instructions. Outside the city was bustling with people, Elder Vo Dang and Chan Huin stood on high places discussing recent rumors. Tran Huin wondered and asked, is it true that it is a sword? This time it is not fake news, is it? Hasn't news about swords appeared more than five times before? The elder said, this time is different, don't you see everyone gathered here? The news about the sword race this time was spread by the clan, so the famous people also gave up all their work. Why run here? Chan Huin stood watching and saw a few special people. Look over there. Isn't that the five poison handed demon god of Jiangxi? And that person wearing the red intent is the three demons, the elder continued. Not only the three demons, but also the shadowless crying ghosts have arrived. Looking at the flood of people at that time, Chan Huin felt like the atmosphere was about to break out. The elder also pointed out, both So Kim Mon and Tung Bok Mon of Luo Duong. I see the Tam Noyet ladies. It seems like all the famous sects around here are gathered. Then he turned to ask his disciple, the treasure was robbed. At most, it was only three days. During that time, could everyone have gathered in Indonesia? And did they know what it contained? What? Chan Huin also followed suit and asked, whatever you say, it seems like the Hoa Sun people have already spread the news about the sword race, right? The elder discovered something spread the news. His expression became passionate, his mouth kept muttering, spreading the news, looking into the distance he was thinking. What they aimed for was not the value of the sword seed, but to prevent Wudong from going alone to excavate the sword seed. We feel the malice in this. Seeing his master standing still, Chan Huin asked, Venerable Master, what should we do? He turned his head and replied, Nothing has changed. They are concentrated in Indonesia, which means that no one can solve the treasure map yet. Although the plan to avoid other people's eyes has failed, as long as we enter the sword field first, there will be no problem. He already knew their plan. They had paid attention. We are here, they are just waiting for us to act first. If we start taking action, they will at all costs chase us to find the location of the sword seed, and then find a way to stop us. Elder Vo Dang said in a proud voice, but we are Vo Dang, each of us has the ability to deal with them. There is no one in the world who has enough ability to stop them. Block our way. Be prepared. A sentence that shows his determination to fight. On the streets, there are people of different sects, masked to reveal sinister eyes. An old man with long hair, a muscular body, a murderous look on his face, a ghost killer with a full body red intent, looking quite mysterious, with a steely look Chan Huin said, we will come sword breed. The elder said, everyone will soon know that we just don't want to cause trouble, but this is absolutely not the time to hide out of fear. He said firmly, we will capture the chaos pill. In Hoa Sun's campus, both Master Da and Myung are on the roof. Brother Yun Yogung wondered, why are the beggars looking for Myung? Bak Tien said, it's the group's leader De Duong. The more unbelievable it became, Yun Yogung asked, why the leader of Luo Duong? He asked again and again, 
Why did Master Fan Dao come to Nam Duong? Are you still looking for Myung? The senior brother could only say, I don't know, maybe that boy has caused something again. Bok Tien said firmly, but I am sure of one thing. That person's eyes looking at little Myung were not friendly at all. On the roof, Master Tua rolled his eyes and said, Now there are more martial artists than Indonesians. It's exactly what you wanted, are you satisfied? Myung frowned and replied, What's so strange about what you said when you came all the way here? Wasn't it your side who spread the news that there was a sword in Indonesia? Are you afraid that Wudang will steal the sword first? The old man was so angry when he heard that, he sighed in frustration. He controlled his anger, then spoke gently to Myung, Okay, so what do you plan to do now? Tell me the plan. Myung answered nonchalantly while drinking wine, It doesn't matter, I'm just admiring the scenery. But imagining his extraordinary strength that could destroy everything and beat him to pieces, he told himself, I have to hold back and calm down. Looking at that rotten brat's face, he thought, if we rearrange things, this brat takes my money and runs away. After a day, I chased him here, but that was it. Nothing more can be done now. If we wait for reinforcements from the camp to arrive, it will still take a few more days. Vo Dang is probably almost at the point of sword fighting. Even if reinforcements came here, it would still be hastily gathered troops. At most, it's only about two centimeters of momentum. With that number, it is impossible to chase and deal with all the small sects, let alone Wudang. The more he thought, the more he frowned, to be able to enter the sword race. If you consider your strength, you can put your trust in it. It can only be this brat. The sky will probably collapse. He encouraged himself. But anyway, there's still something to hold on to. Although his mental health is not very normal, there must be something wrong, otherwise this would not have happened. Surely in this kid's madness there will be something, it is the last hope that we can rely on. So now I have to put up with his unpleasant appearance. He urged Myung, what do you have to do now? And Myung fell into a drunken stupor. He asked, would you like a drink? And he was serious. He said now is not the time to drink. Outside, martial artists have already arrived in numbers like ants. You saw that and didn't think anything? Myung laughed mockingly, it's true that everyone is so ambitious. What kind of sword? I can't understand why these idiots put all their energy and money into it. Hearing that, Master Feng was shocked. Angry to the point of gnashing teeth, eyes glaring. He shouted loudly, Hey bastard, you have to go get the mixed origin pill, it's the mixed origin pill, are you like this? Are you asking others to do good deeds? Below, the senior brother and senior uncle were both scared and sweating after hearing this. To Lao's furious anger, Myung only responded with one word, oh. Then he said, I'm so startled, my mouth is still chewing. Mac Suc Fap the master shouted, hey, look outside. Everyone is so busy acting like that, what are you thinking, kid? Suddenly, someone from somewhere answered right away roof, feces the master looking with panicked eyes. He asked silently, who is this again? Lee Jisu said, Wudang is here. Myung's wine bottle fell and there was a loud bang, causing everyone below to panic. Myung immediately stood up, he smiled happily, it's here. Let's go. Everyone was gone, leaving only the helpless and bewildered the master. Eh, he's still on the roof, he said. Meanwhile, the Hoa Sun brothers rushed away in the wind. The old man, Mr. Da, angrily cursed at the beggars below, why are you still staring blankly like that? Those beggars quickly chase after them. Quickly chase after them, they quickly ran and said, clearly. At this time, he cursed under his breath, damn it. We must chase Hoa Sun. He launched a shot from one roof to tip the other roof. As he rushed away, he made up his mind, definitely. Everyone's gone. Leaving the campus deserted without a trace of people. Tiu Han and Wei Emo walked out of the room, seeing the slippery scene. Tiu Han asked, Father, what is this? Wei Emo with a worried face replied, Son, I don't know, I think, maybe that person is thinking something. At this time, they were speeding up to the location they had found. 
He knew that if it was normal, no one would dare to openly stalk like that. But this time it seemed like they didn't even pay attention. The martial artist's eyes said, please remind everyone to always pay attention. The disciple followed orders and stayed behind to cut it in half. The same goes for the other people, each in a corner to display troops in battle formation. A brother spoke up to remind his brothers to prepare for the situation. The mandatory requirement is to block everyone who intends to rush in. But how can we stop because of that? Just like that, many chaotic battles happened. For those who are blinded by greed, words cannot be persuaded. Huan Zi would rather let his disciples use force to minimize the sacrifices for his sect. A disciple ran up to remind the elder, just a little more and we'll be there. So this group went through the entire wild non-Tarragon forest. According to the treasure map, the place in front of us is probably where the medicinal pills are hidden.